Hey everybody, Brandon here, Mr. B's Fish and Things. Want to help me build a fish rack? Let's go. So this is all our steel gathered up. What we have here is one and a half by one and a half inch box tubing. 100 millimeter thickness. These are one inch box tubings. That's 120 thickness. Not that most of this probably matters to any of you. And this is two inch flat bar. This is gonna turn into a couple of aquarium stands. And all these chicken scratches are the plan for the first rack. So let's get started. So because you guys aren't used to working in the shop with me, let's cover a few things. You're gonna have to have your safety glasses on all the time. And there's a couple of pair right there. Go ahead and grab yourself one. And you're gonna have to be very careful about fire. There's fire extinguishers all around the shop. There's first aid kits around the shop. Make sure that you know where they are, familiarize yourself with them. All right, we're going to be doing some welding today. When we do that, you're going to have to have a mask and you're going to have to have a respirator and we're going to have to keep the ventilation going. All right, now that we've covered all that, let's see what we can do. Chop saw. We'll use that for cutting our steel with. Protective gear on. Make sure that you observe where your sparks are going to go. And here we are. See our mark. We're all set. So, does it look like an aquarium rack yet? Not really, eh? All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay. So we've got all of our pieces cut. We've ground all of the edges to make sure that they're, we're going to get a nice clean weld out of them. Now, this is a very important step. Here is that squaring things up before we weld it. I'm sitting here on a bench, we're getting ready to weld them, and making sure everything is square is essential. Measure multiple times, square them all up, and then we'll tack it together. Once it's all tacked, which is just a very small piece of weld, and a very small piece of weld holds it together, kind of glues it in place. Then we'll go back over the whole thing after we're confident that it's the way we want it, and weld it solid. We're gonna need a welding helmet. This is a 110 wire feed welder that we're going to use. It's a MIG welder. We're using gas on it today. And that's what we'll be welding everything together with. Okay, so we're all set up here. Uh, Jake's a pretty good welder in his own right. And he's going to try to uh, weld a spot here and we're going to try to film it. So, I don't know exactly what's going to happen filming this. But, let's see what goes on. Alright, go ahead, Jake. Now this won't hurt you guys' eyes on video, but there we go. Now we're welding everything all solid together. So time for a bit of an update. Here's where we're at now. You saw us welding the sides together. Two sides. And then it's fairly simple. We connect them with these crossbars. That the tanks will sit on. And 
and voila one tank stand now we'll do a little bit of grinding the flapper disc on a grinder right there that'll clean up some of the rust and the bad places for weld and any sharp spots we'll get rid of all of that and make it nice and smooth We're going to put a couple of crossbars in here as well to mount lights to and to give added strength. Then the whole thing will get coated in a spray bed liner coating for truck beds. All right. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. So we've got our stand down here in the fish room now. We've got it all coated with our spray bed liner. It gives it a nice textured black finish that I like. It seals it. It's very durable. Think about it. If it's good in the bed of your truck where you're throwing all kinds of stuff in, it's going to hold up pretty well here as well. So we're getting ready to uh, put it in the fish room and replace a wooden stand that we have in its place. And here's the stand in place. And this stand got built right alongside of it. Eventually, we're going to have a second tank here. Okay, so thanks for hanging out in the shop with me today while we built a couple of new aquarium stands. And as always, thanks for watching.